September 2, Monday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing, and all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the glorious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't it this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Sarephat in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet none one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Jesus fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah. He is the Anointed One who brings the good news of liberation from captivity and oppression and performs miracles of power like giving sight to the blind. But his message is more than just freedom from political submission to foreign powers. Jesus is endowed with the Spirit of the Lord. He was born of the Virgin Mary by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit descended upon him during his baptism in the Jordan. He heals and casts out devils by the same Spirit and the Holy Spirit is a driving force of his mission and that of his apostles, because he is the Son of the Most High and the Son of God.